it's Allie with the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team and I'm super excited to share this layout with you guys today. So I started this layout by putting down some washi tape and I'm just putting it in strips because I'm going to add some shimmers. So basically my washi is just for masking purposes only. So once I get my washi tape exactly where I want it, I'm going to get my shimmers out. And I love these little jars of shimmers because you just mix them up and they're ready. It's not like watercolors where you have to add a bunch of water or anything like that. It's just super easy and fun. So I'm just adding this design to each one of my uh, washi tape masking strips here. And I'm not getting them perfect. I'm not making them all uniform. I'm not even really concerned if they're fully covered like if the paint is covering each individual little shape i'm a perfectionist by nature but i'm really trying my hardest to kind of step outside of that because i think there's something super fun about it being organic so now i'm going to use this vibes it's um the color eggnog and i just want to point out to you guys that on these bottles it says don't shake them it says to roll them between your hands to get them get all the shimmer well distributed and all the color distributed but don't shake them because it could clog that up and if you do want to spray you don't want that clogged so now i'm going to trim my background paper now that it's all dry and I'm trimming it to 11 and a half on either on each side so it's an 11 and a half inch square and then I've added it to this background paper that I've gutted so that I can use that again and I've done a lot of machine stitching as well and you can see I used that paper to map my photo so now I've got this cut file from paper issues I'm just kind of going to see where I like it and I'm going to add some of these fun Paige Evans die cuts to it as well just to spruce it up a little bit but one thing I really hate doing is just covering up all of that hard work with the paints and everything so I'm actually not going to use this die cut as a die cut I'm going to use it as my template for stitching and I'm just going to make a stitched outline of this unicorn so that it's kind of subtle but it still pops out i'm going to use some pinks to tie in with the die cuts and kind of keep my color scheme going so i'm just going to use my piercing tool and go all the way around my unicorn and once i have all my holes where i want them i actually go back through with more of that yellowy um, eggnog color and this time i'm using a brush because I just want it to stand out a little bit more, but I still want to see all of that fun mixed media that I did before this. So one big thing with this technique is to make sure that it's completely dry before you try to stitch or your paper is going to rip and it's going to be super frustrating. So you don't want that. So between my stitching and this yellow addition my unicorn will stand out a little bit but it'll still not take away from the rest of my page so jumping straight to the stitching being finished and i've already added the word unicorn um, for my title and i'm going to add a couple of little embellishments here and there i don't want to add too much the unicorn is a big element on my page and the photo is obviously incredibly important to me as well so I don't want to take away from that. So I'm just going to add a couple little hearts that go with my color scheme here, tie in that yellow. And then I'm going to add the rest of my title, which is Every Princess Needs a Unicorn. And I won't make you watch me put all of these letters down. That's super boring, right? So once that's finished, I'm going to add my sequins, of course. And I want them to be part of being a star you know on my layout I love sequins and I'm really enjoying just globbing them onto my page with a ton of glue I know it takes forever to dry but I really love the way it looks I like the randomness of it I like that the sequin mix is still a sequin mix instead of just using individual sequins you really get a feel for what the mix looks like and this Bell's Ball sequin mix is just 
so gorgeous. And this is just so easy to do. You just get a bunch of sequins in your hand and just drop them down onto that glue. I do kind of want to make sure that I'm distributing blue throughout and keep my color scheme intact, but really there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just super fun. And by the end of this, my unicorn has the coolest sparkly sequiny horn ever. I love it. So I also use the sequins just as little accent pieces by the die cuts and by my photo um, just to draw that draw your eye to those places because I want you to look at my title and I want you to look at my photo obviously so that's what those sequins are meant for there. The last thing I do is add a couple little pieces of journaling kind of going along with my mixed media and then this layout is completely done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll shop at the Spiegel Mom Scrap store. Don't forget to save 15% with the code Allie15. Y'all have a great day.